Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get SPSS software running on your MacBook without getting any errors. So let's get started. So when I start the software, you could easily see that there is nothing happening. I will try to click on this OK button, but still there is no changes. It just freezes and I could not see the software starting. So to fix this issue, make sure you just close the SPSS software and go to the force quit option and see there is no SPSS running at all. Now go to the link I have given in the description and make sure you download this fix from the official IBM site for the Mac OS. Click on continue and here I have selected the HTTPS file. Uh, just select it and then you could go down and uh, click on download this file. So once you have downloaded the file, you could just unzip this and inside this folder, you could see this two new files. So now the next step is you have to go to your finder and open a new finder. Uh, then you have to navigate to applications. So inside the applications, you'll have to look for the SPSS statistics folder and the SPSS statistics application on that you need to click, click right and show package contents is what we have to click on. And then inside the contents folder, we have to look for the lib L I B. So that's the folder we are looking for. So inside this folder, we have to paste this file. Uh, which we have just downloaded but before that we have to make sure we have to delete this libplatdep file existing in this folder already so let's search for the name of the file libplatdep so now after selecting the file you have to make sure you select the right folder which is the lib folder so and inside the lib folder this is the file you have to move to bin so we are deleting this file so after we are done deleting this file what we have to do is go back uh, to the lib folder and now we have to copy the file we have downloaded into the lib folder uh, okay i will just move it a bit then yeah copy the file into the lib folder so once the file goes into the lib folder we just close everything up and try to open the SPSS statistics software normally and see if it is running correctly this time. And yeah, so here you can see the software is running perfectly. Uh, no more infinite loop of errors. So yeah, uh, you can do your statistics very easily now. And thank you so much if this video has helped you. Make sure to write a comment, thank you, and like this video.